Hello there, my apprentice squad, and anyone else who may be watching. Welcome to the PTS patch notes titled Solar Flare. Coming out with the new goddess, Soul. Norris, in fact. But first, we're going to cover the other things that aren't as important to everyone. First up, we have kids slamming doors. Next up, we have Robin's Mastery Skins, as you can see on the screen here. Lovely. The new way they're doing it is just great. Love it. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Next up is a uh, Halloween special skin, the uh, Grim Mariachi Loki. This almost makes me want to play Loki more. Uh, this skin is really cool. I'll probably make sure I get it. But then never play him, much like Archon Thanatos. Very cool. Uh, here's a listen to the voice pack. I don't understand. Ancestors will be happy to have their loved ones join them. They Allow should be me to introduce me. you to your ancestors. <laughs> Sometimes people mistake me for Juan, the leader of One Direction. If you can see me, you're already dead. Unless it is just a guitar, no tricks. Do not fear the Reaper, fear me. And moving right along. As you can see on the screen, let's see. We have uh, Odyssey content being added, yay. Uh, new voice packs, Soul and Grim Mariachi. We will hear her and see her in a little bit. New emotes for her as well. New avatars. Standard Ares has been switched back to its original art. Yay! Updated God cards. Kali getting her card updated again because a lot of controversy with the last update of it. But hey, that is neither here nor there. Let's move right along. Updated tutorial. The basic tutorial has been updated. Uh, here's some of the stuff on the screen as you can see, but um... Basically, they just want to give it a more immersive, story-driven uh, feel. Uh, this includes both the standard tutorial of how to play the game, along with the arena tutorial. Also, we have AI improvements going on. This is going to affect things like new wall, Halloween event, um, Halloween chest, uh, which will have the exclusive Grim Mariachi Loki. Uh, it'll also have all the old skins as well. So uh, if you missed any of them, you can pick them up. Arena map will be getting some visual things. I see on the screen, you know, we have some spooky music and zombie minions and uh, big minion throwing jack o' lanterns and all the really cool, like, not Halloween skins, but dark skins or evilish skins being in the loading area. Uh, really cool, and uh, when you die, you leave tombstones behind. Everyone loves tombstones, they're fun. All right, let's get some of the other miscellaneous changes. We have a uh, new play screen. Uh, very nice, very. Just nice. It looks nice. It's pretty. You know. Players with privacy flags set will be excluded from the leaderboard results. We have some achievements for Arachne and Rom. Uh, Arachnophobia. As uh, Arachne get her broodlings to get killing blows on enemies. Uh, wrapped up. As Arachne successfully stunned three or more enemy gods in a match with Cocoon. Um, probably will get that anyway. Uh, I'm a pro. As Rama killed two enemy gods with your ultimate. I think you're. Mm, eh. I was gonna say I think that you should like kill two at once. That'd be that'd be really impressive. And then there's ouch as Rama cripple every enemy god in a single match using rolling assault. All right. And then fix the achievement charge being given to Hades. Uh, Hades is a elite, not a charge. So fun fact, if you did not know. So let's move into item changes. We have Mail of Renewal getting a slight nerf. 15% uh, off the maximum health and mana, or 50% health uh, instead of 20, excuse me. Uh, basically, uh, with the nerf to certain items, uh, this item has been just a little too good. Um, so it's getting the slight nerf. Uh, next up we have Bluestone Pendant, now available in Assault, that's all you need to know. Now, uh, uh, losing 4 additional damage uh, over 2 seconds, so just a tiny little tweaky nerf. Shoes of Focus uh, now provide 250 mana. Shoes of the Magi no longer provide 250 mana, but do give you five extra power. Uh, basically, Shoes of Focus were, is the item you want to be spammy with. Uh, Shoe of the Magi is the item you want to like really hit hard, and Magi was actually being more spammable than Focus, so that's the reason for the change. Alright, moving on to the God Changes. First up, we have Apollo, the moves. Uh, increase the knockback strength from uh, 175 to 250. Uh, this is essentially just giving him an extra auto attack. 
uh, or two after he does his move so he can use it a bit more offensively to be able to get in and actually do some more damage. Next up we have a Wheelix, a uh, thing that was not shipped but was originally in her kit was that Gravity Surge could yank you from over a wall. Uh, this is going to give her the ability to gank better because she will be able to come up behind a wall, say at the blue buff, and then communicate to her team to push them back. And then if like an Uller or an Onher go to leap to get away, she can yank them back. Or if somebody goes to run and they go to leap over a wall, uh, say an Onher again, uh, he leaps over the wall, she wouldn't be able to yank him. So she would have to then, if it's up, leap over and then he could just pin her to the wall and possibly kill her. Uh, with this, as soon as he leaps over the wall, she can go ahead and yank him back. So, kind of a really cool fix there. It's gonna make her a little bit more powerful. Maybe I'll play her someday. The Bracken getting a slight change uh, by reducing the cooldown of his refraction shield uh, to 10 seconds at all ranks. Uh, this is his ability that he slams his two shields together. It's the one that gives him all the defense. So it's gonna give you a slightly different change of pace and playstyle. Uh, because that ability gives you a lot of protections uh, and then you have to sacrifice them to do the damage. So you're not going to have the protections uh, as often or as long, but you're going to have the ability to stun more often. So kind of a change. Uh, possibly my favorite change in this entire match or this entire thing is Chalk. His slow is being increased quite significantly, going from 5 to 25 to now 20 to 40. Chalk getting a little bit of his old power back still, um, probably not going to be super viable, but he's definitely going to be a lot better. Uh, we'll see how that winds up going. Next up, another water type god, Hebo, uh, now gains uh, slow immunity along with his allies who walk on his uh, rolling carpet. Uh, so the Atlas of the Yellow River now gives slow immunity, which is really cool. Uh, next up we have Hu Yi. Uh, they're lowering the cooldown of his ricochet and uh, improving its ability to or accuracy of bouncing. So they want you to be able to use it more for bouncing off of walls and stuff instead of just using it once and hoping you hit. Furthermore, they are buffing Dive Bomb, uh, increasing the scaling of it to be a bit more in line with On Her. Uh, he has to place the marker on the people and then leap on top of them. So therefore, this is going to make it so that you feel the damage that you do uh, whereas if you don't have the buff that or without this buff it just doesn't feel quite as good so a little bit more strength going to him and they say he lacks a hard steroid which is technically true because it takes so long to remark I would like if like you killed the person uh, if he lands a killing blow on the person then it resets or maybe it's just someone does it I don't know but anyway Mercury also getting a slight change well, actually, a pretty good change. Uh, fastest God Alive is having the maximum damage bonus uh, for distance traveled increased but to 75%. And then Special Delivery is going to throw people slightly harder, or harder, slightly higher, I guess harder technically, uh, so that he can, uh, if he throws them against a the wall, he'll be able to get like a 1, 2, 3 maybe uh, without having to get any attack speed items. So it's really cool. Uh, I say cool, but we're going to see more of him, and I don't know if I want to see more of him. Uh, next up we have Nemesis. Retribution's cooldown is being decreased by two seconds. Uh, Retribution, if you don't know, is her shield. So a little bit less risk to diving in, because your shield will come up sooner. Nox Shadowlock. Uh, love the name of the spell. Um, this ability now cripples in addition to roots. So, so say you have an on her. I go to on her a lot, don't I? So, if you were to miss your, like, they step outside of your uh, siphon soul, and then you land the crip, uh, you land the root though, and on her could knock you back, which would break the cripple, and then he could leap away. With this, it'll break the root, but he'll still be crippled, so he won't be able to leap away immediately, um, and the cripple stays after the root. So that's awesome. And you can't leap away from her, um, but you could still impale her. And then Night Tire, improved targeting accuracy. Um, I think I've had it a few times where like I go and I shoot it, and it just doesn't seem to go where I thought it did, but I just assumed it was me being bad at the game. And then Sobek, getting a mana decrease across the board. 
to help him be a little bit more user friendly. Uh, on top of that, um, Lurking in the Water is getting a slight buff um, as it is not only getting protections while he's submerged, he's also uh, getting slow immunity, or not slow immunity, he's increasing his slow uh, by 5%. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Tyr being another character that's really difficult for new players to play, is getting a slight um, buff. He's taking one second off of his uh, stance dance, or stance chain, chain stance, whatever they call it. Uh, and also defensive stance is giving um, just a little bit more protections than they were. Uh, two at the bottom end and ten on the top end. Vulcan, backfire. Um, apparently there was a bug where mid camps you would go to fire it and it would like just hit an invisible wall. So that's getting changed, or fixed, excuse me. And then uh, Jing Tai, uh, this guy's name is weird to me. I'm horrible with Chinese names, so I apologize. Uh, Raging Whirl, uh, Whirlwind of Rage and Steel. Uh, just a little bit too strong. So instead of having the decreased cooldown, they're keeping it at 100 seconds at all ranks. Um, and they're reducing the scaling by 10%, which is, if you look at it, that's decreasing it by 50%, technically. Uh, it's going down by 10%, but it's a 50% nerf. So, Zhang Kui, getting some buffing. He's getting the Freya treatment, as they call it nowadays. Uh, he's getting stat increase, so he's getting uh, base health is going up by 50, which is a good chunk. And then he's also getting 10 more health per level. And on top of that, he's going to be the second mage who has magical protection scaling every level. Again, the only other one being Freya. All right, now let's quickly jump into talking about soul, because let's be honest, that's what people care about. Now this goddess is a fire goddess. Uh, she is the embodiment of fire and the sun and all that good jazzy stuff. She is an auto attack centric mage. My favorite type of mage, except I don't like any of them, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. So her passive is unstable manifestation. So she is the manifestation of the sun or a fire, whatever you want to call it. It's technically the sun, but whatever. So her passive, she gains heat. Uh, with basic attacks and certain abilities. So she gets 5% heat with every basic attack. Um, as she gains heat, she gains 1% magical power, 1% attack speed for every 3% heat. At 0% heat, Soul's basic attack gained 50% damage. And heat decreases rapidly over time. So it's kind of similar to the old um, Poseidon, except it doesn't take long to build her heat up. Uh, especially once you like you get an attack speed item or two, she builds her heat up super quick, and then she is able to use get it in other ways. In fact, her first ability, which is Radiance, uh, Soul Burns Bright, gaining a large amount of heat, healing herself over time for five seconds, um, and ignites the ground around her, uh, doing a, uh, basically, damage over time, just a giant, damage over time effect. Uh, kind of like a Kukulkan, in a way. Uh, you drop this and there's fire below you, and if you're Kukulkan and you have someone attacking you, you'll run around in it and hope they die from it. But this also heals you. And on top of that, it gives you a percentage of heat going from 40 all the way up to 80. So, it, it's really just a heal and a, you know, if you want to fight me, come fight me. Um, note that her auto attacks are ranged. Next up, we have her second ability, which is Stellar Burst, which is a burst, as they say. Uh, Soul's next basic attack explodes, creating a shockwave that travels out, dealing damage. I'm not going to read off the numbers. At full size, the wave then retracts. So basically, it if you, if you think about it the way fire technically works, um, when there's an explosion, there's a wave that goes out, and then there's a wave that comes in. And technically, there's a wave that goes up, but whatever. Um, forms a mushroom cloud, yada yada yada. You know, nukes. They're fun. So that's basically what this ability does. It does damage, retracts in, and slows. Um, it gives you 10% uh, heat as well. And then you have, god they pronounced it, I can't remember it. Disapparate, I think? Um, Soul burns down her manifestation. So, as we said, she's an unstable manifestation. She burns down her, her manifestation herself. Uh, and gains movement speed and ignores all movement penalties and leaves a trail of fire behind her that damages enemies. Um, 
movement penalties include auto attacks. So Hasten Fatalis, probably not going to want that. After three seconds, Sol loses her corporeal form uh, for a short time and the trail explodes, stunning enemies for 1.5 seconds. Sol may leave the incorporeal form early. This, this ability provides 10% heat. So basically she, whatever that word is, that's fancy, uh, runs forward, auto attacks people, tries to get in front of them to make them step in the trail, uh, hopes to catch them in the trail, makes them, uh, stuns them, does damage. Basically that's what it is. And then you get a slight bit of uh, invulnerability so that you can uh, get back and hopefully not take damage. Then an ultimate is Supernova, because why not? Uh, this is kind of like a AMC ability, except where you really, you paint with AMC, you kind of just throw this out, and you know, if you're good with AMC's painting, like hopefully, I think I am, uh, and hopefully they don't have the bugs that AMC's painting has. That's basically what this ability is. And essentially it drops eight meteor, or eight sun explosions. I guess because it's a supernova. Actually, it looks like it drops eight suns, but whatever. So it's kind of a it's an AMC meets oh who was it or is it Rama? No, it's uh, Hui. My bad. So basically, it's it's those two abilities mixed together. Um, and except for this one does a good amount of damage, so 350, not a ton, but uh, it hits multiple times plus scaling. But then all the other ones, you only take 20% of the damage. So if you land all eight of them, it's going to be a lot. Um, not quite as much. I could see Gem of Isolation being super good on her because you land the first one and then you're kind of guaranteed that the rest of them hit, uh, provided you can figure out how your enemy is going to move. And then we have her skin and her voice pack. So here's a listen. Kill me? I'm not even really here. Apollo. <laughs> I hold the sun across the sky. Apollo just gets in the way. <laughs> like a little less boy. <laughs> you are one spark short on a fire, yes? You know the saying, if you play with fire, <laughs> it enjoys it. Do you want to play? I'm game. <laughs> I got in trouble for being too beautiful. You have no such worries. Do you want to play? I'm game. And that wraps it up for this patch. I'm sorry that it's so long. A uh, lot to cover, but um, 20-ish minutes I feel pretty good about. Uh, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Um, until then, have a good day, guys.